I was complaining to one of my friends. I was just bobbing a little bit of a moan. I was like, oh, man, my TV broke. And I'm going away, so I can't buy a new one. It's going to cost money. I can't f- fucking afford it right now. Oh, it's, you know, it's just a bit, of a, it's a bit annoying. It's a bit annoying. And my friend was like, wow, Daniel, your TV's broken. And it's got you this upset. Wow, that's such a first world problem. <laughs> such a first world problem. You know there are kids in Syria who don't even have TVs. They don't even have running water, and you're complaining about your TV being broken. It's not that bad when you think about it. In the grand scheme of things, when you put things into perspective, things could be a lot worse, couldn't they? (laughs) Fuck off. Like, just because bad things happen in other places doesn't mean I don't get to have a concept of sadness, man. Right? You don't get to put... That's not how perspective works. Right? Otherwise, I could just walk around kicking people in the balls and then holding up a picture of 9-11 being like, eh? Eh? Could be worse. Could be worse. Could be much worse. Huh? Perspective! Ah, ah, yeah. Because that's the thing. You only put my favorite emotions into perspective, right? You only put sadness and anger. You never put happiness into perspective, do you? Right? Because you understand that would be a shitty thing to do. Let's say you're a good person, you're a better person than I, you're out volunteering in one of these war-torn places, right? you're building schools, you're trying to be the change you want to see in the world. One of the kids runs up to you and they're like, Sebastian, Sebastian, because your name's Sebastian. <laughs> UNICEF dropped by, UNICEF dropped by, they dropped off food and they dropped off water and they dropped off medicine, but you know what else they dropped off? Did you know what else they dropped off Sebastian? They dropped off a football, my very own football. We used to have to play with a bag made of other bags, but now I get to play with this football and I can't wait. I'm going to play with my friends every single day and I'm going to become better than Messi and Ronaldo combined. I'm so happy now that I've got this football. <laughs> Put his happiness into perspective. <laughs> Be like, well there, small Syrian child with a name I'm not willing to improvise. <laughs> that is a very nice football. But there are kids in Edinburgh who have Xboxes. <laughs> so in the grand scheme of things, you're not actually that happy, are you? That is such third world happiness right there. And, and it's coming across a little bit smug. A little bit smug. I've got a dad. <laughs>